Hello there. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be examining the notion of computer passwords. This is part one of a of a series of screencasts com concerning um, e-safety and security within computer science. So the objectives uh, for today are the following. We're going to be looking at the, the background to why passwords were invented, and we're going to be looking at why they're so important to system security. Um, we're also going to look ahead to examples of good and poor passwords in, in future screencasts. So um, this chap here is Dr. Fernando Jose Cobato. Uh, he has a very interesting backstory. He joined MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, in 1950. Uh, he studied physics, and whilst working on his physics doctorate, he, uh, he, he noticed that the, the machines that he was using tended to be used for a mere fraction of their, of their computer processing capability. Um, this seems rather obvious now, but actually at the time, he was the first person to really kind of spot this and tackle this. So for example, a, a user would, uh, would access the machine and they would run a particular process. It could take uh, many hours or several days, and that machine would effectively be locked up, even though it was only using perhaps five or 10% of its actual capability. So, um, as one does, he invented an operating system to try to overcome this limitation. <laughs> the, uh, the operating system was known as a compatible time sharing system, CTSS, and effectively it did exactly what you would expect a modern day um, operating system to do. It allowed multiple people to share the same computer, multiple users to log in. So a user logs in, they run a particular process, they're able to log out, the process continues, Another user logs in, uh, and then similarly able to, to to run a process. Huge, hugely more e efficient than the than the original um, pre-operating system. Um, eventually, this became Multix, which was an enormous project that MIT ran, and M Multix itself was then the forerunner of Unix. And Unix, of course, itself has then morphed into uh, a sort of more user-friendly incarnation known as Linux. Um, all of this was made possible by, uh, by the work of, um, of Dr. Cobato. Of course, in terms of a computer password, well, you needed a way to protect data. Um, if multiple people are logging in, doing particular processes and saving particular files, you need it to be protected. So in addition to inventing uh, an operating system, Dr. Cobato invented an individualized password system. So, you know, we're looking at a, at a tech genius pioneer here. Um, so pioneering, in fact, was he that in 1990 he received a highly prestigious award, the Alan Turing, A.M. Turing Award, for his work on time sharing systems. I think it's a fascinating story, and it gives you a nice, hopeful, hopefully nice insight into into how passwords uh, came about. So, in future videos, we're going to be examining common uses of passwords. We're going to be looking at uh, good and poor passwords, and we're going to be thinking of alternatives to typed passwords, of which there are many in the modern world. Many thanks.